Hello. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> the most generic YouTube intro I could have possibly done. Um, but I'm glad to see you guys. I mean, all I see is like a piece of glass. But I know somebody's out there, hopefully. Um, I'm going to be watching this video by Watch Mojo. Trusty Watch Mojo. Top 10 British scientists who changed the world. But I just wanted to point out, before I even watch it, this already blew my mind seeing this thumbnail. Stephen Hawking. I didn't realize he's British. I guess I just assumed he was American. Because his voice goes through a freaking, or went through a robot. So I never heard the accent. That. <laughs> wow. That is really something. I had no idea. That is so interesting to think of him like. They should have given his robot a British accent. Modern life wouldn't be the same without these brilliant... It's interesting somehow to think of him thinking in a British accent. That's just not how I picture it. Brilliant minds. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and, and ring the bell out. to get notified about our latest videos. For this videos. list, we've looked at scientists born in Britain whose work has changed human life forever. Number 10, Peter Higgs. You've probably heard of the Higgs boson particle yes. and the Large Hadron Collider that was built to observe it. What you might not know is that the man that the actual particle was named after is actually British. Originally from Newcastle. He looks like a scientist. He is one of the six physicists that were responsible for suggesting the particle might exist and kick. He looks a lot like um, Warren Buffett, kind of starting the entire right process there. to prove their theory. In two That's a pretty big, I'm, a, I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. I don't even really know what that large hydron collider, I know everybody thought the two particles were gonna come together and the whole world was gonna collapse into itself or something. But I know it does all sorts of experiments. But what it actually does, I don't, I know it collides particles. From there, not really sure. But it certainly is very smart. <laughs> 2012, they finally announced I can say that, that they had discovered the particle, and the following year, Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Is that is that what they used to find the Higgs particle? Number nine, Alexander Graham Bell, born uh -huh. in Edinburgh. Classic. Bell is not only the founder of American company AT and T, but also the. Mm, yeah, see, I actually thought of him as American. Inventor of the telephone. So you can thank this man for your smartphone, even if he might not recognize it as the descendant. That's a pretty freaking big invention, the telephone. Okay, being able to talk through a, a landline from far away, communicate. Pretty important. Into his device. What was it before that? Morse code? Hired by Gardner Hubbard to experiment with ways to send multiple telegraphs along the same line, Bell was also given funding to explore his true passion, the transmission of the human voice. In 1876, from the amazing. comfort of his packed office, he demonstrated his invention by making the first phone call. That's amazing. Number eight, Dorothy Hodgkin. Known for her work with X-ray crystallography, which is the technique used to determine the structure of crystals, Dorothy what? Hodgkin worked primarily with biological molecules. She was a pioneering scientist in the field of structural biology, and throughout her life she deciphered the structures of penicillin, vitamin B12, cholesterol, and after 35 years of work, insulin. She was the third woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and to this day is the only British woman to receive the award for one- So did she invent insulin or did she invent this thing that helped you determine the structure of- She's definitely smart. It's, good. it's nice to see a woman on this list. ...of the sciences. Number seven, Alexander Fleming. Especially back in those days, you know, it was, it was, it was more of a barrier to entry for women. We're incredibly lucky that so many scientists have done the work to find cures and ways to keep us healthy. For example, Edward Jenner, who invented the first vaccine. But the one that made our list mm. is Alexander Fleming, who discovered penicillin and paved the way ah. for modern antibiotics. Although he penicillin, wow. How many lives has that saved? He technically discovered it accidentally by having a messy office and leaving out cultures of staphylococci. There's no arguing with no the results. Shot. In 1945, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, which he shared with two others. Number six, Francis That's Crick, a big one, penicillin, wow. James Watson and Rosalind Franklin. London-born Rosalind Franklin used X-ray crystallography to better understand the molecular- What's with all the crystals? ...structure of DNA. Her pioneering work was then- the What's with all the women and these crystal structures? Is this another woman? ...basis for the work of Watson and Crick. 
Francis Crick is the British half of this duel, and together with his American partner, they discovered the helical structure of DNA. They were jointly awarded a Nobel Prize for their discovery, which also explained how information is transferred inside your DNA. Mm. Sadly, since Rosalind Franklin had died in 1958, she could not share the honour. Nonetheless, their discovery added significantly to our understanding of how living things work. (laughs) I'm just laughing at my own commentary. That sucks. There you go, guys. From the American perspective, that sucks. Number five, Alan Turing. Born in London, Turing. Legend. Turing's work spread across several. He still talk about you know the Turing test and all this. You know he basically invented the computer. of study, but he is most very sad story though. I'm sure most people know it. For his work with computer science. He was hugely influential in the development of the study, so much so that he's today remembered as its father. If you don't know him from his groundbreaking work in computers, you might know him for his contribution to the British effort in the Second World War. He worked at the centre of Britain's code-breaking team and was responsible for helping to break the German ciphers, allowing Allies to ultimately defeat the Nazis. Number four, Wild. Tim Berners-Lee. Wow, and they didn't even talk about how he was gay and... Um, wasn't he... God, didn't they, um... Force him... What, what's the... F- I, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything that's not true. But anyway, he ended up taking his own life, right? This Crazy. Tim Berners-Lee. Is- that's another legendary internet. Scientist that you're probably going to want to thank the most because without him, we wouldn't be bringing you this video. Bern- I thought that was Al Gore. It's a series of tubes. Berners-Lee is the inventor of the World Wide Web. It all started with him wanting to find a way to share information between researchers. It's so amazing, isn't it, to think like the World Wide Web, the internet, what we're on right now, what freaking, you know, the network that literally connects the entire world, shares information, everything, everything is fuck, is ran through the internet these days. And this guy, Tim Berners-Lee, who basically was the pioneer of it, he's still alive. That's how young this new world is with the internet. He is still alive. <laughs> the guy who made it. It's researcher. To me, that's mind blowing. The guy who made it. The internet. The World Wide Web, at least. Still right here. <laughs> he built. Well, we're that early, folks. The software to facilitate. It's it. just begun. And years later, spotting an opportunity to pair his creation with the internet, the pretty mind-blowing online system that we all know and love today was born. Few technological developments have had such a clear impact on the modern world. No kidding. Number three, <laughs> Stephen Hawking. No kidding. The freaking, I can't get over that. The the internet. With a lot. Stephen Hawking, I can't believe he's British. A list of books to his name, including children's Crazy. books. And a film made about his life. Hawking has had such an influence on my. Guys, I just had to, gosh, it was really hard for me to say something. I said, I can't believe he's British. And then I saw his teeth and it was really hard for me to not make a joke like I should have known or something. Um, Go ahead and cancel me now. I'm just being honest. That was my thoughts. I'm glad I didn't say it because that's clearly offensive for multiple reasons. So I'm glad I kept that all inside my head. Let's keep going. Including children's books and a film made about his life, Hawking has had such an influence on mankind in modern scientific thinking that he has become a household name around the world. His mo- he does look very British right there. In modern scientific right. thinking that here. He's- my God, he looks British. He looks like a beetle. I love the Beatles become a household name around the world. His most notable works are his study of black holes and his work in cosmology, which is- I don't even understand how you study black holes. Isn't that mind blowing that you can even do that? That's basically all just theoretical physics, isn't it? Like literally, you're not actually studying the black hole. You're over here with a pen and paper doing numbers and figuring it all out from that. At least, you know, and a te- you know telescopes. <laughs> But there's not much you can do with that. It's just mind-blowing that you can actually study something like a black hole. There's not even one within a freaking light years of here. Concerned with the origins of the universe. All of his amazing essays, ideas, and theories were made in spite of his motor neuron disease, which he overcame for decades, completely defying expectations. Hawking will go down in history as one. 
legend. One of the greats, or rather, he already has. He like is uh, he is approaching like Einstein level, you know what I mean, of iconic scientist. Number two, Isaac Newton. When you think of Newton, you probably think of the famous apple story. Although it's not strictly true, the apple didn't actually hit him on the head. He did claim it inspired his theory of gravitation. Like many on today's list, Newton also worked across several different fields of science, but he was most famous for his theory of gravity and the laws of motion. He's often considered to be- No! You know, this never happens. I'm kind of surprised. This doesn't happen very often where I just like lose internet, but I'll be right back. I'm back. Thanks to Tim Mertens Lee. I'm back online. He's often considered to be the most influential scientist of all time, and wouldn't you know it, he just so happens to have been born in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. Huh. Number Wills one, Thorpe. Charles Darwin. Our number one... One of the most controversial scientists to ever exist. <laughs> it's funny to think about. He's a smart guy, you know? Figuring out evolution like that. It's, it's sort of interesting people... The concept of survival of the fittest, it's so simple. It's so simple that even, you know, like a, a middle schooler or elementary schooler could understand. Um, but Mr. Charles figured it out. This spot is reserved for this incredible scientist because not only was his work hugely influential, but he also changed the way we viewed life itself. His theory of evolution completely rewrote history and demonstrated that all life evolves from common ancestors. Previous theories had tried to explain similar concepts, but Darwin's came with such convincing evidence that it was hard to argue against it. Scientists have gone on to gather even more evidence since then, and the fundamental concepts continue to hold up. Darwin's work ultimately changed the face of biology and our very understanding of nature. Do you agree with our- You know what I don't get though? I want to know how, I'm sure I could just look this up, but how was he funded? Like, that's what I don't get about these scientists back in the day, Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin. Who was paying them? Who was paying him to go prance around the world to some island and look at all the birds <laughs> and figure this stuff out? It's almost like they were just like, Somehow funded by the government, and they were just free to go freaking set free, go figure out whatever you want to figure out. It just doesn't feel similar to the, I don't know, to today. Like, how would, how, how did he make money? Whatever. Anyway, I don't know if that even made any sense, but either way, those are, those were some iconic scientists. Indeed. Iconic. Absolutely. Darwin. Newton, Tim, freaking, um, oh my gosh, what was his name? I know it's going to bother me. I'm going to have to, uh, I mean, I, I literally know his name. Turing, Alan Turing. God damn. I hate when I forget something that I know. Anyway, yeah, icons. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. I hope. I mean, I hope you show up. I'll be here. Either way, thanks for watching. Go check out Watch Mojo UK. Link down below. Goodbye.